take your food as a medicine and not the medicine as your food. Hello and welcome to Bonus Kitchen and Living. Uh, it's been um, many many years I meant to follow like a sattvic uh, diet food at least couple of days a month and uh, uh, for the past few months I have been uh, able to work on it and uh, um, so I'm at least uh, following uh, um, two days of the month um, sattvic food diet and so today I thought of sharing with you all my you know today's diet so it helps me to simplify my life um, I constantly have been asking some questions myself like why do we have to have so much of food why uh, food has to be and the cooking has to be so intimidated and why the food has to be food diet has to be so complicated and all sorts of questions were, were just popping on my mind for some reason and so um, that's what I decided that at least I'm going to start following two days and then I gradually uh, I actually aim to increase my days for um, this diet. So let me show you how simple it is to follow this diet. For my today's diet, I entirely leave out onion and garlic and I get to pick some of the vegetables like yam, potato, sweet potato, carrot. And so today I am going to go with purple yam, my favorite sweet potato and I may use a little bit of a carrot as well. For a little bit of a solid food I can use morio, this is morio and another choice I have is sapodana which is tapioca pearl also known as sago but I'm going to go with morio to me personally it's kind of a more healthier than sabudana and also kind of uh, gives me the good feeling after eating um, so I prefer to make kitchen using um, morio and when it comes to choosing oil I prefer ghee clarified butter to cook my sattvic food but peanut oil is good as well and if I happen to get hungry at some odd time even after having the fasting meal then I munch on some nuts and dates um, I know that a lot of people say that oh this is all carb but uh, these are the good carb that gives energy for you to run your activities because at the end of the day we do work and we do have a lot of activities you know physical mental um, so we need to keep on uh, you know running and uh, and we need to finish many of our chores of the day so um, I'm going to make very simple morio khichdi and so let's begin um, cooking today's sattvic food khichdi curry I am going to take just a quarter cup of morio wash morio really well and as you can see I'm using sieve here to wash morio really well because once you take morio in some other uh, pots or the bowl it's hard to get the morio from the bowl as it is very very fine so just to go ahead and wash like so chop sweet potato so this is the amount I'm going to need only this much wash the sweet potato really well and then just uh, scrub the skin like so and cut however you like I'm just going to cube the sweet potato it's a bit of a hard to cut the sweet potato so I don't really worry about cutting it in a particular shape now sweet potato cooks really fast so I'm just going to keep the chunks quite a bit like not too small like so and as you can see it starts changing color very quickly 
the sweet potato so I'm just going to go ahead and um, start adding into water and next I'm going to take yam purple yam again I'm going to need just a very small amount of purple yam again um, purple yam cooks really fast as well so uh, don't cut too fine so peel purple yam and remove any spoiled part from the yam and then I'm again going to just cut roughly in a big chunks and add into water and little bit of carrot so this much only peel or just scrub like this wash and cut roughly all right so now I have vegetables ready next here I have some chilies you can add as for your taste popping roughly ginger about an inch but uh, can be added as per your preference so just uh, peel ginger just scrub the skin and I have already washed everything really well so I'm just going to go ahead and chop fine I don't want all the big chunks of ginger but if you love ginger if you are okay with it just go ahead and chop however you like all right and here I have some curry leaves I don't need this many but when I went to pick them I just got the whole thing in my hand so and now let's start um, cooking the moyo basically I'm making moyo khichdi right so uh, heat up the pot on a high heat in the beginning and then we will cook the khichdi on a low to medium take teaspoon of oil or ghee I'm taking ghee here when ghee is melted add cumin seeds jeera fry jeera slightly when jeera starts seasoning start adding the remaining ingredients here i have curry leaves limri here i have chopped chili and ginger mm. it's a simple but still i can start feeling the aroma with just the ginger and chili and curry leaves next vegetables salt and I'm using sindo salt cashew raisins peanut can be used and raisin is optional as well so these are some optional ingredients I'm adding here for more energy and nutrition of course and finally I'm going to add washed moyo so if you wash using see it's easy to wash and add in and we will need five times more water than moyo so for quarter cup of moyo I take one and quarter cup of water and sometimes it may require more water depending on how old moyo is aged moyo will take more water and now all we have to do is just to simmer for about 15 20 minutes on a low to medium heat so I'm just going to go ahead and cover and let it simmer to go with khichdi I'm going to prepare curry farali curry so here I'm taking half cup of yogurt Dahi, gharka dahi hoto achha hai. Homemade yogurt is preferable. To this, I'm going to add Farali fasting mix flour, about a tablespoon of flour. You can use Rajgira flour, any kind of Farali, Singara flour, but to me personally, this fasting uh, mix works really well. Now, before adding water make sure to just go ahead and mix flour and yogurt together really well 
make yogurt as much smooth as you can and break all the lumps of flour as well so once the mixture is nice and smooth like this start adding little water at a time and I prefer to make kind of a little thicker um, curry but it's totally your preference all right so this is how I want as you can see it is not too watery and not too thick and here I have the remaining ingredients for tarka. take the pot you want to prepare the curry in and uh, heat up the pot on a, a medium to high heat half teaspoon or even less than te half teaspoon of ghee is just good just a little bit just quarter teaspoon of ghee is enough as well and peanut oil can be used instead of ghee add cumin seeds jeera and fry jeera lightly curry leaves ginger and green chili and turn off the stove and add the prepared yogurt mix give it a stir and if you are ready to eat then just to go ahead and bring the curry to boil so I'm going to turn on the stove again on a medium heat and bring the curry to boil be sure to keep stirring to avoid curdling I'm going to add sindo salt here and keep stirring because we have very small amount of curry uh, it's already done as you can see so I'm going to turn off the stove and yummy looking curry is ready as well now you must be thinking what happened to that big time foodie I am still a big time foodie I love to explore different food um, and from different culture obviously but that doesn't mean that we just have to be like eating like anything and everything that comes to us I analyze my food really well before I put it in my body so um, you know lately I've been inspired um, to follow my ancient you know diet where you know a lot of people practice um, fasting a few days of the month or a few days of the week and um, uh, I kind of felt that it is benefiting uh, me in many ways uh, first of all it uh, kind of you know detox my body because I'm not eating too much of food um, those days and then um, I kind of found myself a little calm uh, on those days because I'm not trying to do so much of things I'm not trying to cook too much of food uh, and it kind of gives me that uh, that lifestyle that I have been uh, kind of looking for um, there's this saying goes like this take your food as a medicine and not the medicine as your food and so I've been trying to uh, correct some of my diet I don't want to change completely because uh, of the fact that I have been eating good food um, all this time and um, obviously my vegetarian diet so I don't need to change uh, too much but uh, um, with uh, like age and everything I feel that I'm not able to digest like many kind of food like a lot of dairy product you know a lot of spe specifically cheese and all those like uh, you know kind of uh, cream all those heavy dairy product so I'm trying to eliminate those and uh, not completely eliminate because I do need nutrition from those uh, ingredients as well but I'm just trying to reduce the amount of intake uh, that I used to take uh, when I was really active even today I am still pretty active but I still feel that I don't need that much of uh, food so our food is done so let's split it up all right so let's check our morio yum look at this perfectly cooked morio kijui i'm going to take out into the serving plate as you can see yummy looking kijui and i'm going to serve curry in the bowl here mm, look at this menu garnish with coriander leaves 
mm, smells divine here. And the way I consume my sattvic food is I sit on the floor, I take stainless steel thali, known as, and uh, I start serving myself. Normally, I prefer to eat with my hands, but since today I'm showing you, I'm just going to use spoon here. Kichuri, more your kichuri into the plate. So I'm going to take kichuri into the plate, thali, basically. You can also serve some kachumbar on the side, I mean the salad. Uh, cucumber can be used. And I'm going to take curry and start eating. The reason I sit on the floor, it kind of gives me like a feeling, like a good vibe. And after eating this kind of a meal, I kind of feel that I have that positive vibes and you know, like good vibes actually, good feeling even after having this kind of a meals. So, mm. I'm going to finish my meal. And I prefer to have my meal outside with nature uh, if the weather is good and today it's a beautiful weather here. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do let me know how you like this kind of video. So the, the days that I will be following Satwik um, food, I'll be sharing what I prepare for those days. So do let me know. Do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many many upcoming videos about food, about people and more. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinares, Bonus Kitchen is everywhere. You can download Bonus Kitchen app totally free on your iOS, Android and many other mobile devices. You can watch me on a big TV screen using um, Amazon Fire, Roku or YouTube app itself. Thanks for watching and see you soon.